Kurumazaki. Yeah. What? I suppose you drew me away from my crew intentionally. No matter. With one call, they'll be here in moments. I wouldn't count on that. What? Somewhere, jackass? Well, I think you're staying put till the police get here.
throbbing heart is the beat of the engine. My one true love is the asphalt. My first kiss tasted of death. Right to die! Let's go to Valhalla! Come on, angels! Let's ride out to the next life! Yeah! What you do? Delay them off somehow? No backup today, Koga. It's finally over. <sighs> Professor, you know how highly I value your skills. Uh, you what? I genuinely have the utmost respect for you. Please consider the value of our partnership. So... So you respected me by taking my mother hostage. Really? Didn't you threaten to taint her IV? Uh, that, that was simply a momentary lapse of judgment. I needed insurance in case you turned on us. Are you for real right now? Please, Professor. Consider your situation. Let's say you attempted to re-enter civilian life. Do you think society could put a proper value on you? No. Those odds are slim to none. Hammer the nail that sticks out. That's how society works. A cruel dog-eat-dog -dog world of deceit and sabotage. People masking their true selves every day, all to avoid the wrath of their peers and superiors. And no matter how hard you try to make it unscathed, someone will be waiting for the opportunity to use you. But, I'm sure you're more aware of this than most, aren't you? <sighs> Professor, so long as you attempt to conform to society, you will always feel constrained, even suffocated. However, the neo Kahin gang would see you flourish to your full potential, giving you the freedom and strength you desire. And we would be most appreciative of your talents. So, Professor, please, come back into the fold. <sighs> no matter what I do, I'm going to have to interact with people. In the back of my mind, I've known that all along. Mm -hmm. But whether I knew it or not, I kept pretending it wasn't true. Ever since the day I left Serio, that is, until Yagami-san told me but I have all the courage I need. Courage? So, I've decided. I'm done lying to myself. Hmm. Well, Koga, sounds like she's made up her mind. The professor's done with you and your gang. And as her advisor, I support her decision. That means she's coming with me, not you. What a shame. Truly a spoiled brat to the end. I don't know why I bothered trying to reason with you. Uh. Your performance is lackluster when you're forced to work. But it seems I have no choice in the matter anymore. Yagami, I'm taking you out right now. And you'll die knowing Kotoko Itokura will work for me until she's dead too. Finally, you're talking like someone I need to hit. Die, Yagami! Here we go! Let's go. 
longer I can... Damn you! Sorry for the holdup, Yagami-san. That Honda dude took us some time. Oh, looks to me like you're all good here. Ah. Yagami-san! So I guess... we really cracked the case, huh? Yeah. Yagami-san, what are you gonna do with these guys? Good question. They might blab about the professor if we turn him into the police, so... Dump him in the sea? What? You... you're joking, right? No need for the theatrics, Yagami-san. I've already wiped every record of the professor's involvement with the neo Kahin gang. You can take them to the police now. <laughs> so there's no evidence of the professor left? In that case, sounds like he's just another urban legend now. An urban legend? That's true. I doubt the police would even listen to a story about a high schooler's secret website where wishes were granted. I also doubt you'll find any reliable corroborating witnesses. So, dumped in the sea, taken to the station. What'll it be, Koga? Planning to swim there or something? Actually, he did mention once he was in the swimming club in high school. He said he'd spent his entire youth in pools. Hopefully he doesn't wash up on the beach somewhere. I can't believe he just threw himself in the ocean. I'll destroy you one day! Just you wait! You're gonna be! 